afraid that six o'clock it's time for a magic live. Now today I'm going to be performing a little TTNA, which is from John Bannon's first, not first, but one of his very early books in Possibilia. Uh, I thought I'd perform this on magic live before. I can't find it anywhere. I had a few people on a and a that I mentioned this on. Um, they asked me for the link and I couldn't find it. So I'm performing it again now. If I've already done it, I apologize. Uh, it's a really cool routine. It's really stood the test of time. Um, so, it uses a deck of cards, and it's a shuffle deck in use, and I've got Jack behind the camera. Hello. Uh, Jack, you've seen me make four aces appear from a deck of cards many, many times, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Um, so, I'm going to show you how I learned how to make the four aces uh, appear out of a deck of cards, right? Oh. First thing you need to do is you have to practice. And the best way to practice is to put the aces face up into the deck and keep the rest of the deck face down. And the reason is then when you're practicing trying to cut the aces, you'll know if you've managed to cut to them or not, because if you cut to a card and it's, uh, it's face up, it means that you've managed to get an ace. Does that make sense? Yep. And then once you've done that, you then turn the aces face down and you carry on practicing it with the aces face down. The hardest thing to do, the hardest way to do this is to have some of the cards face up and some of the cards face down. Uh, like this, if you take some cards face up and some cards face down and you shuffle them face up into face down, now it becomes a really difficult thing to do because now you don't know if the aces are face up, you don't know if the aces are face down. It, it, it's kind of a difficult proposition because now there's, uh, there's face, as you cut through, you see face down cards, you see face up cards. It's actually quite difficult at this point to actually find the aces. Luckily, I have very sensitive fingers. And if I just do that, I can find the first ace, the ace of diamonds. That's not bad, right? That's very good. It's not bad. That's not bad at all. <laughs> um, let's see if I can do it again. Let's see if I can do it again because I think the next one, I'll just, I mean, and, and again, the cards are face up, the cards are face down. What I'll do is I'll touch this packet here to the ace and then here to my arm. And when I do, I get the next one. Nice which is pretty good. Uh, that leaves us with two. Let me see if I can try this one. So we've already found the club and we've found the diamond, right? Yep. We found these two. Let me see if I can find the uh, the next one. I'll just pop these here for a minute. Watch the next one. I just do this, 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 and that would be the, uh, the ace of spades. That would be the third one. Leaves us with one final one. Now, it's tricky from here on in because now there's only one ace left. And if I go through the deck, you can see there's face up cards. Uh, this face down card. So it's not only finding that final ace, it's also trying to work out the face up cards and the face down. It's a bit like a middle in the haystack. So the easiest way to do this is to just wave the deck over the rest of the cards, snap your fingers, and then what happens is every single card sorts itself out, except for one card in the middle of the deck, what? and that would be the ace of hearts. That's ace. That's ace. So there you go. That's a technical variation of a little TT and eight. It's a beautiful routine. You can learn it from Impossibilia and also from John Bannon's DVD set, which I believe is now available as a download. Uh, you want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back again tomorrow at six o'clock with another Magic Live. I'll see you then.